some people, um, after the end of the month and all their bills are paid and they have everything taken care of, have sit on five or six hundred dollars a month. Some people more, some people less, but we're just going to use those numbers for now. And they have this five or six hundred dollars a month and then suddenly something happens and they're down to three or four hundred and they get really scared and really stressed out and they start to worry because their security is lessened. I would like to compare this to Heavenly Father's presence in our lives and our sense of His love for us. I believe we always have a constant amount of love and you know from previous blog posts that He's never left us alone, ever. He cannot. He's only left one person alone and that was our Savior and only so our Savior could understand and better fulfill the atonement for us. Now we are never alone, but sometimes when we go through things that are hurtful, when we're fearful or angry, we create a smoke screen over some of that love and we were like, well, why do I feel so alone? Why is Heavenly Father not there for me? But the truth is that those funds are always there. Even when we feel like they're spent or that they're gone, they are always there. And we have to overcome our fear, get through our anger and forgive, and then get to feeling the bounteous of love that he has for us. However, I think sometimes people believe that we don't need to experience negative things, but I completely disagree. We absolutely have to experience negative things so we can appreciate the positive. You know, we have to hurt so we can appreciate when we're not hurting. We have to be, I, I really do believe this, we even have to be angry sometimes so we can appreciate when we're not. There are so many things that we say we shouldn't experience. Um, for instance, I hear a lot of people say that we shouldn't, nobody should ever be abused. And while no, nobody should ever have to go through that. For each individual, it's different. And there are lessons that those people can't learn in any other way. We can learn a lot of things, but there are definitely some things that we can't learn. Forgiveness, love, appreciation, overcoming trials. These things cannot be learned in any other way for certain people. And that's not, this might be coming out wrong. Please don't overanalyze over this to the point that you're like, but, 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 and argue with me. Just kind of listen to what I'm saying and, and listen to the spirit behind it because it's not that, that people have to experience these things um, in life. They just have to experience certain things in which they can't learn the lesson in any other way. There are other people in our lives who are a part of those lives to help guide us to learning those lessons that we need to um, through the trials that we've been through. So yes, I believe that people shouldn't have to go through abuse and shouldn't have to be hurt, but learn what you need to learn from it because that's the whole point. What good is going through that trial if we're not learning something amazing from it? Um, life is to be lived love, serve others. We know this. Forgiveness is, forgiveness is an interesting topic. You can forgive somebody and it, this might go over a little bit, but uh, we can forgive somebody and not have them in our lives. Just because we forgive them doesn't mean we have to put ourselves in the path to be hurt again and again and again. So, on the other hand, there are others that we have no choice but to have them in our lives, especially family and ex-husbands, that we have to. And sometimes we have to forgive them over and over and over again. And that's where, you know, the commandment comes in to forgive seven times seventy and then some. But do what's right for you. Learn the lessons you need to learn and love and serve. And recognize that Heavenly Father's love has never been depleted in your life. If you're not feeling it, then there's probably something that you can do to better feel it.
and to appreciate it for what it is. It's just a random rambling thought. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. You guys are great. Bye.